this little baby here under this very large looking SWR meter is is the NorCal 20 meter QRP 6 watts 0 to 6 watts but doesn't cover the whole frequency because it's only got a small pot in it right so I've had this for a few weeks now oh by the way the radio the uh, speaker is a CQ 110 speaker as you see and it works it quite well so this is only running from a um, small power supply right it's just under 5 watts but on the antenna actually it puts out uh, 6 just over 6 watts 0 to 6 watts anyway I'm going to put a, a bigger pot in there a 10 turn there it is as you see cost me uh, just uh, just a fraction under nine pounds UK pounds from RS it's a Vizhay Vizhay 10 turn 10k pot so we're going to put that in there and we should uh, be able to cover the whole of 20 meters uh, with it so we'll show you the inside before we uh, start stripping it down right we've taken the front off because it's only held on by the nuts on the pots the front I mean once see the the covers top and bottom are on then it's very sturdy uh, little box so all I've got to do now is take this pot out and then readjust those links there and we should be uh, Laughing, I guess. Right, you see all 92 there, and those two little links on the um, on the right, or just above it. There, look. And we've got to uh, change them over to these settings. You see, at the moment they're on those two and the top right-hand ones, aren't they? So we've got to change those over. Um, nearly there. Right, as you can see, where is it? We've uh, just about see, I think. Change those links there. Look, you can see it says ten turn, ten turn, one turn, one turn. All right, so they're now they're on the. Uh, and turn ah, string this in see how it goes what I've done I fitted the front uh, front plate screwed it in tight and the others so that and, and all they need now is blobs of solder because if you uh, actually solder them before uh, you put in the front panel on you might find the front panel won't fit so it's best to put the front panel on tighten the nut up and it's all nice and square look 
and then all we've got to do is put blobs of solder on them and, and we're done. What do you think? Good idea? Well there they are, blobs of solder look. It's all nice and square in there. You see? Perfect job I think. I should say so myself. Right, all nice and square in there. Before we adjust that uh, pot there, capacitor, see uh, what frequency we're on. See whether it still works. <laughs> well, I've changed the pot and uh, the frequency didn't change. Um, it was still about 40k. Uh, and then I read the manual <laughs> the first time and uh, it seems that R9 needs to be changed from 100k to 220k but uh, it's so close to that little chip there what I've done I've snipped the top of R9 which is just in between that chip and the pot the new pot and I piggybacked it as you see there look it's a sturdy job it saves mess in the um, the printed circuit board and trying to desolder and everything just to change um, that one resistor I piggybacked it with um, a 100k and a 5k it should be 220 but it's absolutely perfect from the bottom of uh, 20 meters right up to 67 zero six seven which is uh, quite good uh, I'm just it's, it's on at the moment I'm just letting it to warm up because there is drift I just and then recheck it but uh, um, it looks a body job wouldn't it but it'll do the job and it says uh, getting too much heat near that chip and I don't want to do that a sturdy job it will not uh, come undone um, so there you go, uh, I'll just give you a little check on the uh, frequency that uh, it's on at the moment. Right. right, you know what that is don't you? Right, so that's 67. Now we can go ooh, way down to a bit before. Right. 10 turns, okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Alright, we'll just try it there. Alright, so that's before uh, 20 meters. Alright. There we go. Right, I'm just starting now. Perfect. Perfect, isn't it? So what do you think? Perfect job. So uh, right, we'll see you on, uh, don't forget the call. We'll see you on 20 meters. CW73 Da da did it